Okay, I'm on the Atlanta bathroom. This I think the door is coming in. A little marble type transition threshold um, that will go, and my uh, tile will eventually go up to where that carpet line is at with the transition strip. Anyway, this is a an eight by eight tile. This is a large bathroom, but it is also builder's grade tile. Uh, probably. I'm going to say in excess of 20, maybe 25 years, maybe 30 years that this has been here. So um, it's a cheesy tile, it's just a cheesy ceramic tile that um, wasn't even done that well. That's a huge grub line there. But anyway, uh, this will all go as well as the floor tile. And this is a shower, which I've already started doing the demo on. Um, there's really nothing to show. The shower hasn't been used in a long time. You can see how dry it is. One of the issues with doing a demo when a shower is dry is you end up with all this uh, mortar, which is dry. Instead of big wet slabs that come out relatively easily, this has to be all chipped out. So anyway, this is a steam shower, as you can tell, coming in. It's just one door that used to be here, um, about a two foot by 80 inch door. And then you step in. And it's basically the same tile, same family of tiles, 4x4 ceramic, which matches the color on that. And it had the same thing on the bench. The bench wasn't sloped, however, they constructed it pretty well. And they had wrapped uh, the shower pan liner around it and all that stuff, so the bench was still intact. Um, the ceiling also had tile, had 4 inch by 4 inch tile, so the whole ceiling had to come out in order to take the tile out. And then, of course, all the walls. Um, so the way they did this is a little interesting. As you can see here, they used grain board first, and then they put a layer of dura rock. Um, so back, back um, in the day, grain board was primarily used by itself, but then they came along with dura rock, put that on there, and then they just went ahead and put tile right on top of that. There's really no damage. Um, it's a pretty solid job, as you can tell, um, 25, 30 years later, there's no issues with grout or anything like that. So it's, you know, it was okay for the day. I'm not here because there was any damage. I'm just here to update. This is the old shower valve, and I will be changing that out with a single lever type of handle. These valves hasn't, haven't been used in a long time. This is back in the day when you had washers and seats and stuff. And the whole valve came out if you had to replace the valve itself. So um, be happy to see that go. Um, it was for short people, you know. I mean, this is this is probably about six foot, maybe at the most. So I'm going to bump this up probably about another eight or nine inches. And it had a steam, or does have a steam shower, which I will be keeping. It's actually just a steam head, um, which is why it's an enclosed shower. <clears throat> anyway. The demo process is going to take a little time to get this uh, all this material out of the of the shower and all this material off of the floor. They probably use the same construction method. This is just nails and dura rock and green board, and so I just anticipate there's probably dura rock down here, nailed down to the floor, and then you have the toilet closet area, so that will also go as well. All this tile will go off of the tub. And uh, what we're going to put in here instead on the floor is going to be uh, bone looking, um, really, really nice tile, 20 by 20 tile that's going to go diagonal. So my first diagonal will go here and then everything else will follow suit outward. So the 20 by 20 porcelain is going to go on the floor. Um, on the tub face, I believe the same 20 by 20 porcelain will go on the tub face and the tub itself. There's going to be a mosaic for a backsplash. The mosaic is going to be glass, I believe, and there might be a rope sitting on top of the glass also to kind of, you know, frame it in. Um, on the shower, it's going to be a 12 by 24 tile. Most likely it's going to be staggered, so it's going to set like this, and then the next piece will go like that, the next piece, you know, staggered all the way up. At about eye level, that same glass mosaic that's going to go on the tub is going to go at eye level so probably about four rows five rows of that will go around um, 
there will be tile on the ceiling, but that tile will be the same tile on the floor, which is going to be a 3x3 three three that's on a mat. So 3x2 three three will go here, and it'll go on the ceiling. And then the rest of the tile here will just, you know, be the same old, same old 12x20, or 12x24 rather. Um, there are some bowl nose for the bench sheet. I think there are some bowl nose also for the face of the tub. But, oh yeah, and then bowl nose are going to go outside of here as well. So the tile will wrap, wrap around this way and then the bowl nose will trim it out. Same as basically these mud cats were. Um, so we'll have bull nose instead. And so that's basically it. It's relatively simple, but it's a large area and it's very labor intensive to even get all this stuff out. The rebuild process will be fairly easy. I'm not going to be doing anything as far as rebuilding the deck or anything. Um, just taking all that out and prepping it, taking the floor out, prepping the floor, taking all the shower material out and prepping that. So the only thing new in here is going to be the tile. And of course, I'll center the drain because the drain is definitely not center. Don't know why. Maybe there's a reason for it. And of course, as I said, take out the shower valve and put in a new one. And that's basically it. So probably about uh, 10, maybe 11 days to do this. And I'm going to get started again. Okay, this bathroom is done. This is um, 12 days later, which is unusually long. But there were some issues involved in here, including the tear out. The tear out took two days because there was 4,000 pounds, 4,500 pounds of material to take out. Back in the day, they made your flooring in the bathroom three or four inches of concrete with lathing and tar paper and then tiled on top of that. That's what we ran into, which was unexpected based on the fact there was dura rock in the shower. Anyway, this is an 18 by 18 tile, as I always do. The aluminum transition strip at the front. I always center up my first tile and it goes all the way back. So the 18 by 18 is in our diagonal. This tile replicates travertine, although it does have patterns. So the customer was very um, adherent to the fact that she didn't want to replicate patterns next to each other. There's darker tile as well as more brown. Um, a lot of different colorations. So that took some time too, to sort that out. Um, the closet, the toilet closet area, I transitioned from diagonal to straight because it was easier to do that than try and wrap a diagonal around one of these with three or four times compound cuts because you see how this doorway angles in and then goes straight again. So we transitioned with um, three inch, um, a strip, two strips of uh, three inch tile and it turned out pretty good. This baseboard here is a four inch one by four with the little trim on the top which replicates the baseboard throughout although this is a six inch no that's an eight inch um, with the same type of trim on top so rather than do this blase type baseboard i just replicated that with four inch and the same type of trim on the top which turned out pretty good the baseboard is a throughout obviously and uh except for this back mirror area because there's just a small area between the mirror and the top of the baseboard so it's kind of incidental anyway so the tub um, got changed out as far as the tile and all that stuff goes with um, a backsplash with the same three by three two rows all the way across and the bull nose the bull nose is on the front of the tub and wrapped around all the way and not not too much i did on the tub I changed out the faucet, uh, so that's about it on, on here. Other than that, um, it's just a tub deck, so not much to tell you there. Um, this is a shower. This is the main reason I was here to build this shower back. This is a steam shower, and so therefore it's an enclosed. There's, you don't see the cutout here. Um, steam shower by virtue of this switch right here, and there's a little nipple inside there that shoots out the steam at the bottom, which we kept intact. Anyway, same bull nose wrapped around the front. And on the inside here, we have 12 by 20 tile that got staggered, obviously, with uh, the same three by three, four rows all the way around. Wrapped around, wrapped around, wrapped around. And then the same three by three went on the ceiling. If you recall before, I don't remember if it was on the video, but it was the ceramic that was on the ceiling, four by four ceramic. So now it's three by three. 
same 3 by 3 on the floor with the new drain that I actually centered. It kind of bugged me that the drain in this case was done correctly. In other words, it lined up with the shower fixture and the head, but it didn't line up with anything inside the floor. So I asked for permission to center the drain because it was just bugging me and that's what I did. In here, uh, the bench was in good shape, so I didn't have to change out the bench. Although it ran straight like this, the customer wanted me to increase the bench coverage by doing a little diagonal. And so that's what I did before I tiled. Um, the diagonal gives her more room over on this right side. And that's it. Uh, shower fixture obviously got changed out with new shower head. Didn't do anything with the light. It's still the old same light. And um, the bull nose is on the face of here, same as it is on the tub. And this is the nipple I was telling you about, the steam nipple. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So eventually, they will get a 24 by 80 inch door that will completely enclose this area. And um, that's it. So, doesn't look like a lot happened here but it was a very intense job. And so I'm out of here after 12 days, minus a couple days for the tear out. And they are happy, I believe. Oh, I changed out the faucets on the sink also with the same Kohler uh, theme that's running throughout, same Kohler in the shower. And so that's it. And I am moving on to another job.